friends welcome back to my channel if you are catching me for the very first time hello my name is Cassie and I am going to be showing you guys how to make my beach tumblers I think that I make mine slightly different than everybody else because I like to add the seashells to mine um, I think it just adds a little more realism realisticity realism is that a word you know what I'm saying to the tumbler and my clients love them <laughs> guys by the way this is Louie it is very important that you want to go a little higher up on the base so that these can still sit in the cup holders but I just love these so I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to make these it's a lot of fun there is several steps and layers to this but the the end result is so worth it and <laughs> he likes to help and steal my pens so I hope you enjoy this and let's get to it. I start with spray painting my tumbler. I like to use Krylon's Color Max spray paint in a flat white. You can use any flat white or any white you choose. It's completely up to you, your preference. I like to use a table turner so I can easily turn this around as I'm spray painting. Um, you want to make sure you get a really good coat on this and this is what it looks like. I will wait to allow this to dry probably 15-20 um, minutes or so. Then I am going to place it on my turner and I mix about 15 milliliters of epoxy and I'm just going to apply a really thin layer. After I apply that, I do take my torch and just run it across real quickly to pop any little air bubbles before my next step. Now for my sand look, and I use a glitter called Seaside from Glitzy Glitter Express, and I'll put a link below for you guys. I absolutely love this glitter combination. It gives the illusion of sand, but without the chunkiness that real sand leaves behind causing you to have to do a lot of sanding trust me i have used real sand before in the past and it can be a hot mess this glitter combination just really gives a blue beautiful not blue <laughs> beautiful shine um and gives the illusion that real sand gives and i absolutely just really love this combination after doing doing the lower part of my tumbler, I take it off of my turner and I quickly apply a thin layer to the very bottom of my tumbler, which you see me doing here. You don't need a lot of this, just a little bit. Um, just a little thin coating will suffice. Now I am moving on to the alcohol inks and I picked out two blues, a dark blue, a light blue, and then a blue green. And I start with the darkest blue, starting at the very top of my cup, making sure I'm at the rim and just start applying a few drops here and letting it run down. I am now going to take the blue green and I will be honest, none of my beach tumblers are ever the same because I do use different hues of blue. So whatever you decide to use is completely up to you. The brand of inks that I'm using is from Picasso and again this will be linked below. With the blue green I go more in the middle. And as you're adding these inks, it's gonna look a little chunky and like a hot mess. You don't wanna add much, just a drop here and there. As this turns and sits, your blues will start to blend together and it will begin to look more like an ocean. Finally, I take my lightest blue and we're gonna finish off the ocean at the bottom below the blue green just adding a couple of drops here and there not getting too close to the sand so it's okay if you leave some white 
spots there because we will add the waves closer to the sand area. If you see any white gaps or spotting where you've already added the blue green or the dark blue, you can add this blue in with that because it's, it's beautiful when it actually mixes together. I do like to encourage the ocean a little bit in the mixing of the blues with a straw. So I just take a straw and I blow into the straw just encouraging some of that mixing of those blue hues and it does give the ocean some of that rippling effect. So I like to do this before it starts to mix in too well. Uh, just to you see how it just kind of mixes in together and gives that ripple I actually love that this is your decision if you do this or not you can also use a heat gun just be careful with the heat gun because it can blow the colors off of the cup itself but I find that a straw works just nicely okay so now I am going to add some shells to my tumblers I did forget to record me doing the beach waves, so I apologize, you guys. But basically, all this is is acrylic white paint mixed with some Floetrol and some water. Um, I did make it a little too thick, and I did thin it out a little more here. So the thinner it is with your Floetrol or water, the better your waves are going to turn out. Um, I did sand the. Um, the glitter down a little bit so it's nice and smooth and I'm gonna be using UV resin and a UV light for this so what I'm gonna do is grab my shell and my UV resin need a little more space over here sorry and I sorry if I'm off camera I am just going to put my UV resin all in my shell and make sure it's around it and then on my cup I like to go higher up on the sand so when it sits in a cup holder the shell will not impact that and then I am just going to set it up under my UV light so it will cure to the cup like that. It's going to take it just a few minutes. And after I add my shells, I am going to do another, sorry, I'm going to do another layer of resin that's going to um, really cure these shells onto the cup. So ready almost it's still a little tacky so I'm gonna do it kind of to the side all sides make sure it's on there really good and then your shell is nice and secure to your cup and I'm just gonna add more all around it and that's how I my shells on my cup and this is what you end up with I just put shells on every side different kinds of shells so that is the taper and this one is the skinny I definitely like the skinny better And now we're going to resin on top. So after adding the shells, you want to make sure that you put a nice coat of resin on top of this. I have actually done one coat of resin and I use about uh, 20 milliliters and I turn it and then I let it sit and cure for 24 hours. 
Um, after it cured, I did sand this all the way and just be mindful of your shells. And then I did one more layer of resin to make sure that it was nice and smooth. And this was the end result. Sorry for the lighting guys. Um, it's very nice and smooth and you can see that the shells are on there nicely. They are not going to come off. So we first used UV resin and then we put two more coats of our epoxy tumbler resin on top. And if you guys want the links of what I use, they are going to be posted below. But this is our final result. Now in between your two layers, you can add um, vinyl on this with someone's name or a quote, anything else that you want and just uh, do a resin on top of that. But I think it turns out so nicely and I love the glitter that we use. It just adds such detail, but you can use real sand if you want to. It is completely up to you. So I cannot wait to see how your beach tumblers turn out. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,